Four bed makers. Two bed related challenges. One mattress king. This, this is, is the, the great, great Irish, Irish bed off. Last week, we had tears and fears of beds not being made in time, unpuffed <laughs> pillows, and of course, that most feared duvet lump. After a lot of sweat and tears, Darren won star bed maker of the week. But Mick thought the standard was so high that all four contestants are going through to today's final. Today is the final. There will be feather pillows ruffled, duvet disasters, and mattress magic as the contestants battle out to be Ireland's best bed maker, as decided by the Mattress King himself, Mattress Mick. Welcome once again to the Great Irish Bed Off. So much life encapsulated in a bed, and I don't think the other contestants get that. I get it. Mick gets it. I make beds. I'll always make beds. It's what I was put on this planet to do. I just can't believe I got this far. I can't believe I'm actually at the final of the Great Irish Bed Off. It means everything to me. I've been making beds since I was a little girl. And I used to watch my grandmother make beds. She was one of the best bed makers in the village. People used to come all around to watch her make the beds. I really do feel as though she's shining down on me right now. It really is a passion of mine. And I can't believe I've got this far. I'm actually through to the final of the great Irish bed off. I can't believe it. It means a lot to me being in the final. When I was a kid, I didn't have a bed. I had to share a bed with my brother. He had it Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I had it Tuesday and Thursday. When you bring in the different components, you know, you've got your duvet and your pillow and your mattress, that they can all come together and work in harmony with each other. And it's not just chaos and, and um, good luck, as I say. Everyone is entitled to a great night's sleep. Okay, so Mick, this is the blind technical, so you're going to have to leave us to this one. But do you have any advice for our bed makers before you go? Yes, this is the foundation of good bed making. The higher the flip, the better the land. Cheers. Thanks, Mick. We'll see you later. Cheers. Okay, contestants, Mick would like you to flip your mattresses. How you flip your mattresses and the method you use is completely up to you, but Mick will be looking for a nice, even finish when you've completed the flip. This is a test of your strength and endurance. On your marks. Get set. Flip! flip! Okay, contestants, stop flipping. Step away from your bed stations. How do you think they've done here? So this is Gary's, I don't even, where's Gary gone? What are they, what? are they a pair of legs? I, th I, I think that might be Gary, is that you, Gary? Yeah. Uh, uh, how, how are you getting on? It didn't go very well. Mick, what, what do you think? Would you agree? I can see that Gary, are you all right in there? Like you're, sleeping, you're lying on there. Mick, even the base is comfortable, so I'm okay. Gary, yeah. this is a disaster, an absolute disaster. This is amazing. Nope. This is fantastic. Is this all down to you? Well, I went into this challenge very confidently. Yes. I knew that if I just did the calculations beforehand, I would let gravity do the rest of the work. And gravity. it seemed to have paid off, yes. I see, so you used a bit of science. Yes. Creating this mm -hmm. masterpiece, as I would call oh, it. Oh, thank you. It didn't go as well as I hoped, Like I'm sorry. Like I, I've tried it at home, it's turned out a lot better than this, so I'm, I'm a bit disappointed. You have potential. Thank you. 
you know, yeah, at least at least the mattress is on the base. Yes. Yeah. Well, which is something. So I did listen to you. Yeah, you do have potential to move or do a better job. That means a lot. Are you sure? Well, I'd like to see you doing a nice guy, and I'd like to see you doing better. I know you've worked very hard at, at this. It's never happened before. I've never had this problem before. I've always managed to get my bed on top of the mattress. I think it's just my nerves got to me on the day, Mick. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. Were you tr trying to put the, the bed on top of the mattress or the mattress on the, on the bed? I was trying to get a mattress on bed like oh. I always do. I manage to do it like usually in three seconds at home. I don't know what happened today, Meg. I don't know. I think it's possibly just your nerves. Today, I think it's it? my nerves, Meg. My nerves have gone. They really have. I'm so sorry. Okay, this is the big one. This is your final challenge. Mick would like you to make the classic bed. It must be as flat as a pancake, but fluffier than a custard slice. You will be using classic Egyptian cotton sheets. Your bed must be inviting and also of a five star quality edge. On your marks. Get set. Make. Make. So Mick, tell us, what are you expecting from the showstopper round? Well, from the showstopper round, I'm expecting perfection. I'm expecting imagination, creativity. I'm also hoping that I see something that I've never seen before. Makers, you have one minute left. Okay, contestants, stop flipping. Step away from your bed stations. To me, it's simple. It's not original. I've seen this kind of design and plan before. Um, I did expect a little bit more from you. I'm sorry, I've let everybody down. I've let myself down. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I tell you what I really like about it, the way you have coordinated everything, mm -hmm. the headboard, the piece at the end, yes. the way the pillows are displayed and the duvet. Absolutely perfection. I believe that this is a supreme bed. Um, its bounce is of its own nature, and I think that I'm a high deserved winner. Highly deserved okay, winner. Okay, can I just have a look and see how you created this? Um, yes, just oh, don't. Oh my <gasps> god. She's double duvet. I know having a double duvet is. Is it it's in not, the, no, it's, it's not in the rules. It's not in the rules. It's not in the rules. And you're a scientist. I am. Well, well, this I love. Well, let's try to recreate the glamour of Hollywood. It's all Hollywood glamour, Mick. I? I love the bling. You like the bling? I love the bling. And you'll love this, Mick. <gasps> wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just amazing. a dream bed, Mick. It's a bed of dreams. I can see that. Are you a dreamer? Well. Well, all I can say is not this nice. <laughs> Roses are red. I know. Violets are blue. I know. You were trying to copy my jacket. I was, I was. I've gone for classic. I've gone for romantic honeymoon bed. I thought as it was the showstopper, I thought I'd really go special. And I'm quite, I don't want to boast, but I am quite pleased with how it's turned out myself. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, the grand winner of the great Irish bed off. Winner is Darren. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I can't make it. I can't. I can't believe it. <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done.